This time of year on the river, the cormorants are pretty much gone. A lot of the herons have cleared out and things are pretty still and pretty quiet. And most of the action, at least visually, is up overhead. And you'll find this with the Canada geese overhead, sometimes in wedges, sometimes down low, either coming in for landing or taking off. And you'll also find it in the collections of starlings that are always getting together this time of year. There's something quite remarkable about observing this gathering of the tribe, if you will. One of the elements is how they are each individuals fighting over limited resources. So there's always the conflict over dominance and who gets what. And at the same time, while each is fighting for their own, there is some interconnectedness to them as you see them collecting, flying over the islands, landing in trees, and somehow mysteriously taking off again. I don't begin to understand it, but I think there is something in the science these days that says that each starling is most immediately aware of six or seven starlings around them, and they respond accordingly. So you respond, as we do, to our neighbors, and they affect their neighbors, and we move as a whole. And it says so much, I think, about our interconnectivity how we respond to each other, and yet how if we pause, we have to imagine and sense with awe whatever it is that is behind all of this movement.